never been here before and so nice we have like a little guide a guide he's our Polaris Jack yeah <laughs> There's some more teamwork right there. Was there a cover for this? Yes. Okay. I'm going to hatch. So that's in pretty good shape. That's about, that's about a grand. Yep. Yeah, you got me all over here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys used it? I was. Well, Scott decided he wanted to uh, calibrate the uh, autopilot. <laughs> so the next thing you know, we're doing. We're doing donuts I and circles it around. Just spin and, circle. <laughs> and then I tried to pull up the settings, tried to reset it. And then it wanted us to spin in a circle to recalibrate it. We started doing that, and here comes the ferry boat. This is all right, let's, we'll do it later. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you what. Okay, so this is the old style. Okay. Um, there's a newer style lock called a Smart Plug. Yeah, that's what I just outfitted my boat with them last week. They're a little bit more, but the problem is. These are these are flexing in here. Matter of fact, earlier this year, a boat caught on fire over in Grand, and there was a dog on it. The dog died. <gasps> yeah. So you see, see how that flexes? Yeah. yeah. That's bad, especially when your boat starts rocking. <laughs> yeah. They'll arc in there. And that's what's okay. happened already. Got it. Then arcs fly up, such a campsite right. fire. I mean, the whole it's a bad design. Sure. This design actually got outlawed in the 30s, in Marine. Green applications got grandfathered. Uh. So the, the new kind lock in on both sides so there's no flexing. Okay. So for a new cable and a new inlet, I think it's either 300 bucks. Uh. And uh, I can help you install it. It's no big deal. Yeah. What is that? That's my radio on my butt. I just left it on. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm that guy. Uh, <laughs> where's your wind direction indicator? That doesn't work. Really? Yeah. The one up top does. Okay. This one. This could be well, it's supposed the, to be analog. The indicator so. should be up there as well. Yeah. So you just go up there and shake it loose. That's where I would start at least. Right. Like I said, it could be lots of things, fuse, this or so that. Yeah. Properly connected. It is analog though. Right. So that was, so that was a little wash down. Cool. Hose, popping. Did they say anything in your survey about that fire extinguisher not being marine grade? Uh, he did say all the fire extinguishers need to be replaced. So, you don't want to pull a lot of power at once. So what's going to pull a lot is going to be things that require heat. Um, so unfortunately you don't have an AC amp heater in most sailboats don't. But like if you're running your hair dryer, that's going to pull about 15 amps. That you're, so that's half of what you should, right? You have, you have 30 amps. Yeah. So if you're running a hair dryer and a toaster, you just do right. a breaker. Um, a space heater, that's a lot. You know, a hot water heater? We do. That's about 15 amps. So you just gotta, you just okay. gotta learn the ins and outs. You gotta learn to, yeah, it would be great to run, need it for that. run half your stuff on one side of the boat, half on the other side of the boat. Okay. So it's, it's just stuff you're gonna have to learn. That's gonna be yeah. so the other side yeah. of the boat, do you physically mean like out of different outlets? Or are you talking about like different off outlets. DCAs? Because you, you got two outlets here. Or yeah. two breakers for outlets, so it's most likely port outlets and yeah. starboard outlets. Um, cool. You should look at see if you have GFI plugs. If you don't, you should put one in. Yeah. Probably don't. Um, I don't know. I mean, whoever had this boat before took it. I mean, he did took real good care of it. Yeah. Either. This is your this is your 110 panel. So this is your shore power. Yeah. This is everything on battery. Okay. Okay. So once we get it hooked up on battery or shore power, which we should do probably pretty quick, you know. Um, and we'll test the next few days, or tomorrow if you're going to be on the boat, we'll, we'll check yeah. your batteries. Okay. And why that's important is, say you're gone for the boat for a week, yeah. and your sea cock busts open, and your bilge starts filling with water, and your pump comes on. Oh, yeah. If uh, you your get a battery. shitty battery, you're gonna, your bilge right. pump's going to drain, and then, uh, you know. And then you'll stop pumping. 
Yep. Looks like you got some switches here. You're gonna have to figure out our. Yep. Before. I saw those today. Going, <laughs> I clicked them both, and I was like, oh, switches and I didn't no hear labels. anything. Right. <laughs> yeah, you guys are gonna like. You guys are gonna have to do a lot of progging. <laughs> yep. Poking, prodding, yeah. labeling. So your bilges are clean. Good. They're dry as a bone. This one is at least. Oh cool, so here are your switches for your bilge pumps and this is a heck of an upgrade. Because, right. you see that red screen? Yeah. That'll tell you how many times they come on since you've reset them. Okay. And they're also alarms. So that's a cool, if you ever, if your bilge pumps ever don't work, check those fuses right there. Okay. That's your uh, holding tank for your shitter. Awesome. A nautical term? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> that pump right there is probably, it's either your, um, your uh, your your water pump for your for the for the boat, or it's either this guy here? yeah or your wash down pump. Either way, it's a 12, 12 volt water pump. Oh, that your battery right here. That's uh, you gotta get a strap to strap that down if it's not already. Yeah. This thing. Yeah, the Coast Guard would have a have a heyday with that one. Yeah. So that's your generator battery. Or it might be the only battery on the boat, really. And there's a bank of four batteries under that seat. That's your, those are your house batteries, but yep. I think that might be your starter battery for both the engine and generator. Impossible. Yeah, that generator has definitely seen better days, man. Yeah. Well, I actually accidentally had it clicked on, and, or I was trying to, and this fuse pump here, this automatic electrical pump, fuel pump. Mm -hmm. Yep clicks, but I don't know that anything else does. That means it's uh, stuck open. Here's your blower, but this is for your blower. Yeah. What's in here? Um, more fuses. It's got cabin lights, running lights, bow lights. <laughs> nice box. Extra lights. Okay. <laughs> so this for a speaker. Cool. Huh. Well, there's your high-level view of that room. That's great. Thank looks like you. you have, looks like you have good access. Oh, yeah. yeah make sure you, there's uh, a light there. Try to get in the habit of opening that vent when you just, like, shower. Let the moisture out. Yeah. And you know those these pumps right here? You can't let them go dry. What, this Oh, that for my shower? Yeah. Okay. So when it's done pumping, t turn it off. Don't let it pump and there's no water. Okay. It will burn up. Good to know. And that goes for any pump. Your bilge pumps, don't okay. let them go dry or they'll burn up. Nice. Access your hot water heater. Yep. Water doesn't currently pump, so that's one of the things he said. He was like, ah, you need a new water pump. Alright, whatever. Is there a GFI around there? Yeah. I think that's the only one I've seen. Well, it's probably for the whole boat then. Oh, there's your uh, overboard for, uh, for your sink. This thing right here? Yep. Oh, this guy? So instead of it draining to my holding tank, it would go. Yeah, the only thing you go over holding tank is your toilets. Uh, you know, you only went like once a quarter, get in the habit of going around to all your seacocks and mm -hmm. opening and closing, opening and closing, so they never yeah. freeze. Stick. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Usually, reverse cycle heating has has those kind of vents. But it definitely had heated wood for a yeah. time there. That's uh, that's if that's pre if it's already plumbed, that's gonna save a lot of money down the yep. road when you do air conditioning. Yep. Cause that's all my to do list. I'm a lot less worried about air conditioning. All right. More about heating. This is good. Get your tiller. Got a little water in there, so you're gonna have, your your packing gland's gonna need either repacked or tightened. So you have to seep it up to your post. Yeah, yeah it probably hasn't left the dock in quite some time before you guys do. No. So this is your hydraulic pump for your rudder, your power steering. Okay. Either that's new or you're. I mean, today it probably got the most use that it's gotten in years. Yeah. But it definitely needs, probably needs to be addressed eventually. It doesn't get any, it probably won't get any better. Something I got to haul out to do, or? No. I th Just, Just packing in a nut? Yeah, it's got a packing nut. So if you're lucky, you put a wrench on that bottom nut, and you put a wrench on that top one. You back, back off that top one, and then tighten it down. Okay. And, uh. Tighten down the bottom, and then glue yeah. the top one down on top. And then clean it up real good, and then just take paper towel and put a paper towel there, and then you'll be able to visualize real if quick. It gets, yeah. If it's starting to see. Yep. 
Here's your, this is for your uh, autopilot. Yeah, yeah. So, how, how's your bottom paint? Good. Good. Two, two and a half years old. Okay. Relatively we new. Called it out last week. Looked great, and they said don't paint it yet. Cool. Yeah. Everything looked good. Prop looked good. Put some new zincs on the shaft. Oh, okay. nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. Looks like they had like a screen to go over here so you can keep it open well. Yep. A lot of the, so. almost all of my, these little hatches have some type of and not these previous ones. Velcro. Not the little ones back here. What about that, the, the, you can see the light coming through there. Is that an issue? Will that uh, get wet? Maybe. Yep. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, I mean it's no big deal. I mean. There's nothing you know, to these, do for that. These boats, you want, you actually want that. I mean, for ventilation, like uh, when you're underway, because yeah. the fumes and stuff. I mean, I mean, that's designed like that. They're high dollar hatches. That's the first one I, that was the first thing he said when I called to say, hey, can I come look at the boat? He's like, oh yeah, and you should see the pore lights. They're amazing. <laughs> yeah. They're gorgeous, yeah. like jewelry. You must spend $10,000 on these things. These are high dollar. You, and I said, all right. You adjust them here. Cool. Um, so, what you want to look at? These hatches probably cost more than my boat. <laughs> good to know. Wow, they're spring loaded. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the seals are in really good shape. I think there's one in the front that the seal is busted or broken or something. Yeah, it's. Wow. Well, this is a. Man. That's nice. Can we, just in time for rainy season. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Alright. Yeah. Let me pass the Let's go. <laughs> yeah, the, does it have a high and low setting? Yeah, it does have a temperature setting, yes. But like, okay. Yes. Uh, I can say so uh, most of them have a high and a low. Uh -huh. Low 750 and oh. uh, high 1500 yeah, yeah. watts. Okay. And uh, just, just get and have it running on a low, otherwise you're going to be drawing so right. many amps. Amps is what the, key, the name of the game when it comes to power. <laughs> <laughs> um, Good thing we weren't boarded then. <laughs> um, you, gotta have, you gotta have noise producers. Yeah. So that's one of them. And it's just. We are not going out sailing. So I can't do that. Just grab it and shake it. <laughs> right. Just run Officer, out. Officer, I promise. I had it. I just, you know. I can what's tell the difference? Right. I tell you firsthand that you have zero sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't. Cool. Well, let's yeah. go get your shore power hooked up. Yeah. Get your battery charged. You think it's safe to hook it up? Yeah. Okay. I've seen a lot worse. It's been hooked up at the other place. Champagne. I think we should too. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the uh, neighborhood. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to hear. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet yeah. you. Thanks a lot. No problem. Take care. We'll see you yeah, later. Too. Have a good New Year's. Yeah. Great job. Thank you, Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> so helpful. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and if you're enjoying our videos, feel free to head on over to our Patreon page and become one of our first patrons. We would love your support. Thanks so much again, guys, and we'll see you soon. Bye!